dude finna get clapped. Go crazy! Ah, 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 go stupid! Ah, 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 go crazy! Yeah! Go stupid! Uh. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another tutorial. This is gonna be my first sample tutorial, actually, where I'm showing y'all how to make your own samples, basically. So we're kind of gonna be going for like the QBs and Frank Dukes kind of style, but we're really just gonna be experimenting along the whole way, just trying to find what sounds best. Anyways, y'all, let's get into it. My hair looks so stupid when I get out of the shower. Anyways, y'all, so um, I'm up in FL Studio here, and first off for your tempo setting, you can actually be really versatile with this. It's up to you. Just personal preference for this. I have Pandora opened here on this preset called Keys Evil, Evil Keys. So what I'm essentially doing is just getting these chords down and then I have a pattern in mind of what I want to do. It's going for like a kind of slow evil vibe, so I just want to play same, same right there, same right there, same right there. Then this one right here, this is going to change up. I just got to find out what matches first. What we'll plays below A, F. Alright, so I finally have that last chord down, but yeah, you see it kind of sounds a bit off. I think a big part of that is just because it's just playing a bit too low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift these up just a little bit. Turn up the tempo. Alright, so I finally have that, that last chord down, and I also shifted it up just a little bit. Here's what we have so far. We have a solid foundation that we can build off of. I'm going for like kind of a repetitive vibe, with like maybe a bell or something. What we can do is we can half time that and...
this pluck that I have here in um, Pandora again. I'm going to turn up the reverb on it. Turn up the release. I just want something repetitive. Add whatever details you think they're going to sound good. For example, lowering the velocity. melody what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to a uh, dulcimer here I don't know how exactly to pronounce it dulcimer guitar there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this up so I have now all of this together but that sounds terrible all together so I'm going to route all of this to channel one here and put it on some halftime we'll see how it sounds now so the best guitar here was probably this dulcy harp thing that you can do is finally you can add effects so for example I'm just gonna go through all my sounds here I'm gonna think what effects sound best and what's gonna bring all the melodies together to kind of flow as one I'm gonna take out some of that low end Use the hell out of RC20. Take out 
take out some of that low end or take out some of that high end. Gonna add some reverb to the guitar. The last thing that I usually do with my beats when it comes to making um, samples is I'll mess with this, so. I want to put this all in mono. And I won't pan this. Perfect, so we have everything down here. We've got fruity delay, fruity reverb, everything on here, everything that we need. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all these in, I'm gonna lay it out first. Turn all of it into a sample, then you guys can listen to the entire sample. All right, I finished setting everything up. Let's export this. Oh, first let me save it. I did not save it this entire time. But anyways, all that wraps up the video. Thanks again so much for watching, and hopefully that'll help you with you know making your own samples. But anyways, that wraps it up. Thanks again so much for watching. You guys can listen to it right now. I'm out.